So working on something interesting today. So I got the tail section back on the cycle cart and I realized I need to put a little more of a panel on the bottom to kind of finish it off. It looks a little unfinished. So I started hammering on a piece of aluminum on the sandbag with the mallet. And I got a fairly good shape. It's going to go through the English wheel to get more shape on it. But uh, this needs to be shrunk. This whole surface here all along the edges need to be shrunk to pull it around. Um, to take it flat, basically curve it over like this. So there's a couple ways to do that. One is use a shrinking stump, which I did at Ed Smoot's shop, uh, Smooth Engineering, in that class I took. And that was in the last video. I showed a little bit of that. I didn't really show the process of it. Uh, it was in the class, I was too busy making the parts and didn't really want to take the time to um, make a video. So I just kind of pieced videos together from what I had. So it, I decided to go ahead and do that on this one. So to do this, like I said, there's a shrinking stump. Or you can make a tucking fork. Ed made a tucking fork from some pieces of old, like a wood punch. You had two pieces of, of metal and they welded them together. Um, I saw a guy on the internet on YouTube. He takes two of these Harbor Freight welding chippers. Cut this handle. He's gonna, we're going to use this part here. So I've already cut the other one apart. I cut the handle off. This is still a little bit warm from the ground. I ground off a lot of the paint. So we're just going to use this part here. So we're going to weld two of them together and put a handle on it. So going to show you what that looks like next. This is going to be kind of fun. I've never really made a tool for a video before, so this will be new for me. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so there's the pieces cut down. And uh, I've told you before, I think, in one of my other videos, but I like to keep two different machines here. <laughs> one with the flapping disc, one with the cutting disc. You can go right from cutting to grinding without having to switch them out for years. I was switching these things out constantly on the tool. And it's just so much easier to have two. This is a $10 one from Harbor Freight. It's working great. So. So these are going to be the, the, the tucking parts, and we're going to use this, again, from Harbor Freight. Um, I cut this into a six or eight inch long handle and weld a handle on here. So getting that ready to do is, uh, is what's up next. All right, so I decided to cut this thing uh, 10 inches. I wanted to have plenty of leverage. I can always shorten it down if I need to later, but it's hard to add length later uh, if I find I need it. So I'm just going to make it a little longer than maybe is what re is recommended. And I uh, can always cut an inch or two off later. So let's do that. So there you go portion of a pry bar. So <laughs> the angle of the camera is kind of weird. So the next thing I had to do is clean some paint off of here so I can weld it. I'm going to round off the edges so it doesn't hurt your hands when we're prying on it. Okay, I've got it set up and I just put a couple tacks on it. I've got a piece of steel. This is about one eighth inch thick, kind of in between to hold it all in place and kind of see so it maintains that gap. I uh, put a couple tacks on the top. What I ended up having to do, I had to cut a little piece of metal. There's such a large gap here. I felt like I just put a piece of metal there, I welded on both sides and that'll secure it. So I'm gonna put this on the other side as well. So I'm gonna flip it over, tack that in and then weld this thing up. And then we can put the handle on it. Okay, so pretty well got it welded up on both sides. It went pretty well, those are actually Hard to tell on the camera, but they're actually pretty good welds. The thing's really still very hot. Put a little weld in the back side and ground it down. So getting a little bit of a picture here, this thing's a little bit unflat, so I'm trying to level it out. And uh, once I do that, I can go ahead and weld on the handle. So that'll be next. Take a look and see what that looks like. So it's kind of awkward to hold this right here, but so that's uh, one side pretty well welded up. I'll weld the other side. 
right now. Okay, so there's the tucking fork all welded up. Uh, the welds are not beautiful. I'm not a certified welder, but those will hold it together, I think. Got a little splatter to clean up, and uh, that ought to shrink some aluminum for me. So I'll wait for that thing to cool off, and we'll give it a try. Okay, so I've got the tucking fork and the vise, and I've been working it on my piece of aluminum here. And I started kind of here and worked my way around a little bit. You can see this is already pulled at it. This, this is pulling in tighter. This needs a little bit more. I haven't done anything over here yet. See so how much more this is curved under. Now, it is leaving marsh, but that'll go away with the English wheel. So I've kind of worked from here over here. Pull, and this is pulling it around. So when I take it over here and I kind of lay it on top of the other cart, you see how much more shape that's getting already. So that really works. Um, so if you have the means to go ahead and make one of these things, it uh, makes forming these panels a lot easier. So I'm going to set this up real quick, and I'll show you what, what the tucking process looks like. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the panel in here into the, into the uh, fork. And I'm going to bend it one way. I'm going to create that right there. I'm gonna, then I'm going to put it in the other direction and bend it the opposite direction to create the full-on kink. Let's see which way does that go. It's got to go this way. That's my mistake. Um, okay, so you can see how much of a shape that put in it just from using that tucking fork. So that put this big bend in the shape. And it looks like I totally messed the panel up. But that's what we're supposed to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hit this and create a little bend at the lip. And that should capture this material and help it pull all those molecules together. Let's see. If my hammer on this is probably going to move the camera. So if it does, I apologize. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this other hammer. I'm going to try to catch it right on the corner and bend that down. Yeah, so totally move the camera. So you can see I've kind of bent the front of that down. Um, and now I'm going to hammer that in and hopefully it'll shrink it. That's the idea. So that's what it does. You just kind of keep working away around. It's going to take several passes to get this. Uh, the other option is to hammer the heck out of it on a shrinking stump. So it's kind of an experiment right now, but it's, uh, it's coming along. So I'm going to call that the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. This is just a method for shaping that. Uh, if you build a cycle cart, this is basically the top of your, your tail section will look like. So if you build it, this is a good process to go through. Uh, after this, we're going to English wheel. I'm not going to show you that in this video because it's mostly about the tucking fork. Um, if you have any questions on this or anything else we're doing on the cycle carts, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.